The Himarikyu Gardens was built under the command of the 11th Shogun Tokugawa Ionari, and was used as a villa for daimyo and the imperial family until it was opened to the public in April 1946. There are many attractions such as a historic garden loved by successive shoguns, the only seawater pond in Tokyo created by the seawater of Tokyo Bay, and a tea room on the water, and the contrast with the skyscrapers is spectacular. You can enjoy plums and cherry blossoms in spring and autumn leaves in autumn. You can taste matcha at the tea house floating in the pond. A change from the hustle and bustle of the city, this Japanese garden in the center of Tokyo, where you can enjoy a quiet and quiet atmosphere, is one of the most accessible Japanese gardens for tourists. Drinking matra in this park near Shio Dome Station and visiting the Japanese garden is the best. In addition, there is an interpreter who will guide foreigners for free, so please use it. Check the guide map and head to the tea house where you can drink tea. In the garden that has been around since the Edo period, there is a large pond in the center, which is the only seawater pond in Tokyo. The water gate is opened and closed according to the water level in Tokyo Bay to regulate the inflow and outflow of water in the pond. Salt water fish such as mullets, sago, gobies, and deals live in the pond. The rocks and stones placed around the pond are home to Cesarmops interstitis and barnacles. In winter, migratory birds such as tufted ducks also come. You can see Pine Tea House, Swallow Tea House, Hog Tea House. Successive shoguns spend time at the Okai while enjoying meals with guests, appreciating furnishings, and also used as a resting place for falconry. Many of these have been burnt down, but the Matsuno Okai built during the 11th Shogun Isai era was in 2010. And the Tsubame no Okaya was in 2015, Hawk's Tea House was faithfully restored based on historical materials in 2018, and the scenery that reminds us of the past has been revived. In the Okaya guided tour, Thursday only, the history and charm of the Okaya will be explained at the Matsuno Okaya and Tsubame no Okaya that you can't usually enter. Currently suspended to prevent the spread of the new coronavirus infection, COVID-19. Atsutai Bridge that connects the shore of Shiori Noike and Nakajima. This is a small island, named Kojima Island, an island that connects the bridges on both sides.
there is Nakajima no Okaya on Nakajima, and the bridge and the tea house that shine on the surface of the water are rich in taste. In the past, it had a good view and overlooked Bosa beyond the sea, and it seems that it was used for evening cool and moon viewing. The current tea house was rebuilt in 1983 and you can enjoy Mata. Today I would like to take a break with a cup of tea here. It's a large tea house. Put your shoes in the shoe box at the entrance and go up to the tatami room. The entrance has a garden and the sand is neatly arranged. The other three sides have windows on the lake, and the scenery when you have a cup of tea is nice. The front wooden deck is outdoors, and it seems refreshing to have a cup of tea while blowing in the sea breeze, but it's a little hot today, so I'd like to sit by the window in the room. This is a picture of former celebrities drinking tea at this tea house. The Japanese sweets and matcha set we ordered came out. Japanese sweets and wasanban sugar are all full of seasonality. Let's have it slowly. The astringency of matcha and the sweetness of Japanese sweets go very well together. Please, try it. The egret is flying. It is a cool figure. The duck is swimming. Matra and sweets were delicious. Is there a lot of fish in the pond? Birds live gracefully. Thank you for doing a lot of shows. 
The fun tea time is over. Egret has long legs and neck. Cross the bridge and go further into the garden. If you proceed here, you will arrive at the water bus stop. Let's go. There are two, Koshindo Komoba and Shinzanaiza Komoba. The former was built in 1778 and the latter in 1791. The duck field surrounded the pond and forest with a bank of about 3 meters, and evergreen trees and bamboo bamboo trees were planted around the bank to block the duck from the outside so that it could rest in peace. Here, several lines of moats, thin moats, are set up in the pond, and while watching the duck from a small peep, lure the ducks with food such as Japanese millet and millet and decoy ducks. During the Edo period, ducks were used, and during the Riku period, they were hunted with a forked net, sadami. So many fish are alive. It's an urban oasis for humans, but it seems to be a good environment for fish.
This is Tokyo Bay. It is a place that connects to the sea. It is a platform for water buses. I heard the whistle of the ship. I saw the red Tokyo Tower in the distance. For people in Tokyo. Tokyo Tower is a symbol of Tokyo. Many ships are stopped. It seems that the water bus departs. This water bus departs from here and operates on each route to Hanode Pier, then to Asakusa, and to Odaiba Cancun. This water bus is the best for sightseeing in Tokyo Bay. I have no plans to board the ship today, so I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to see the scenery of the bay. A city electric railway runs on a distant elevated railway. I realized that I was in the city, but I will return to the quiet Japanese garden again. graceful birds. around the garden. Climbing up to a hill, this is the best position to overlook the lake and the tea houses of Nakajima. It will be the way back through the tea house in Nakajima.
Looking back at the lake again, it's still beautiful. How about the Homariku Gardens, which is the garden of the ancient general? If you have a chance, please come and have a cup of tea. Return to the city, 